Hi, it's Steve Clement from Admiral Boats in Hamilton. We're out here at Motuhi Island today of Auckland, uh, just showcasing our 10 metre sports cruiser that we've built. I spent 12 years building all the moulds for this and essentially what I've built was something that I wanted myself in a boat, fishing, cruising, entertaining, diving, swimming, surfing, all that sort of stuff. So essentially what I've built is something that I'm proud of and once it's in the water and I'm using it that I'm not thinking I wish I had done this differently, I wish I hadn't done that differently. The boys from uh, Volvo come and had a look at what we're doing and they're all enthusiastic about it so we've paired up with them to put run all their systems in the boat. So we've got uh, the glass cockpit here which we can put a, a 16 inch screen in here, um, two 12s we can alter the dash around for people which is another feature we can do because as the boat builders and everything we can customise certain things to suit people's needs. But everything runs through the screen here, you can change all your engine gauges, set that up how you want. We've got the Humphrey trim tabs here which is auto list. Um, so when you're driving, if you've got someone who doesn't want to play with the trim tabs or you, you don't have to, it just auto levels the boat as you're driving along. With the throttle it's got trim assist so everything, you just got to push the throttle forward, it, it autos the leg leg out to get you up on the plane better, the trim tabs do their job, it just gets the boat running exactly how it should be running without you having to do anything other than steering it and pushing using the throttle. So this is the galley entertainment area, We've got, the, got a TV here that you can pull out, turn around, satellite TV, DVD players, got all our light switching, stereo, little nooks and crannies for charging phones, wet bars, we've extended the bench tops into the sides of the hull, sides of the deck just to give us more space. Big um, big fridge here, 130 litres. And we put, um, when we built the moulds, we put tile, we moulded the tiles into the into the mould as well, so just to get a nice, so you've got a dry, a wet area where, and it still looks classy with the tiles, so you not, don't have carpet coming through, you don't have to put teak down unless you wanted to. Got a three burner stove, heaps of space up here for everything, nice big sink for washing pots and pans. Didn't want to have a little pokey sink, I know most boats, smaller boats than this size have got not much space, I'm trying to make good room of everything. Heaps of storage space up here, cupboards and everything like that. Got a nice couple of nice drawers which we trying to keep in keeping with having everything in its place is pots and pans, drawers easy to get to. Then also we've got this big drawer here which extends right out to the side of the hull to keep all your cups and all that sort of stuff there so everything goes back to there. You're not, you're not having to clumber through under all your food which is in here. You don't have to pull it all apart to try and find where your plates and cups and everything else is. So yeah, just trying to make everything have its place. Still looks nice. We've got nice fiberglass bench tops that we made moulds for. All teak cabinetry. Just trying to keep it nice and classy and simple and easy to use. There's another cool feature that we've got here. We've got heaps of headroom throughout the boat, but then we've still got heaps of space for hatches like this here. So that folds down. You've got your net, gaff, awning poles, all that sort of stuff up in there. And it's easy, it's out of the way, nice and tidy. Everything has its place. There's no clutter. You don't have to try and pull bags out of the way to get to your boat hook or any of that sort of thing when you're coming up to the jetty or your mooring. Easily latches up, nice and tidy, and everything's out of the way. So at the end of the day, we're, we're boat builders. Uh, it's not just production boats where this is exactly what you get. We can build to suit more the individuals, changing things, a lot of the decor can be altered around. This whole transom area could be changed to have full seating in here, a single door, so if it's more cruiser style, um, you can still do a little bit of fishing off the back, but you can be more entertaining, have awnings out, chilling out out here, um, drop a table down for a day bed, different cabin arrangements, all that sort of stuff. We, we can just build to kind of suit what um, the individual wants. I've got someone talking about wanting to have a dedicated game fishing boat, so we'll just push the transom out a little bit. We can um, change things quite a bit to suit people. Uh, just go on to our website, admiralboatsnz.co.nz. We've got all contact details there, phone numbers, emails, we're on Facebook and Instagram as well, uh, posting every now and again, stories and stuff. So have a look at what we're up to. We show what we've been building, different parts of the build throughout the factory, and um, just enjoying the boat 
and where people are using it. So.